I know you're under there, boogeyman. And one of these days, you're going to have to come out. You can't hide from me. Go ahead. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. <sighs> Listen, Mr. Boogeyman, I can see that you've been eating Cheetos under my bed and an assortment of candy, which is infuriating uh, because you didn't share. But I have been in this room for days and I haven't talked to anybody. And if you don't talk to me, who's going to pull my finger? Come on, man. Come on. Just do it, man. Come on. Just do it. God dang it. You know what's truly scary, folks? Crippling loneliness. So remember, folks, call your friends and loved ones and make sure they're doing okay. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Rhyme Reacts. Today we're doing... Something new, but something old at the same time. So a while ago, I used to do a entire series where I would rate different scary pictures and rate on the meter of scary uh, one out of five spooks. If it's spooky or if it's absolutely terrible. But instead of doing pictures today, I have found a video that's called the scariest video found ever on the internet. It's actually a bunch of videos, so it's actually lying to you. Even the... <laughs> He could just add an S at the end of videos, but I am no grammar Nazi. So folks, we're going to sit down. We're going to watch this and see if these videos are actually scary or if it is. Hoopla! Of course, folks, like check out the original link. More for original content career. Link being in the description. Oh, no, I've already laughed. Oh, no. Right? Right? You can't, you can't start. You can't start. You can't start. You can't start like this. You can't start like this, right? You can't start laughing. You have to do serious <laughs> when you eat the last cashew and your boyfriend finds out. <laughs> also, I could be mistaken, but she looks like she's been green screened in. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, she the supermarkets won. night shifts. Hold on, buddy. That's it. That's the whole video. Now listen, I'll be honest. This this is a very scary clip. It's a very scary clip. But there's something very comical about it too. The edited nature, her eyes, as if she can hear the scary violin. Instead, it's just her fucking neighbor doing some interpretive dancing. You ever see that girl who uh does the spider dance? Yeah, that's scarier than that nerd. I got to put my sense of humor aside on this one. I think it's around a four because it does have the elements. There's something very scary about being like bound and gagged to some people. I imagine this probably turned on 50% of you and not being able to see what's crawling around and some weirdo being weird. It's that kind of serial killer vibe of like erratic behavior and you being absolutely unable to stop any of it. Often heard scary bangs and unexplained sounds emerging <laughs> from the building after 12 a.m. It's going to be a raccoon, Despite isn't it? Conducting regular rounds, he never found anyone inside. One fateful night, he decided to record That's a raccoon, all right. The frightening noises again. The footage he captured was undeniably terrifying. Oh good, are we actually going to see it? Sounds like a freaking tropical forest. What kind of monsters are in this place? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that start making noise on their own in the dead of night. Upon closer examination, he realizes that it's inconceivable for them to do so without external input. This discovery spooks him, and he hastily decides to leave the premises. It may not seem like much, but the it thought of a toy acting independently in an enormous structure is enough to send shivers down your spine when you're alone at night. No, it doesn't. Of course, this may be all just a ploy to scare him off. But right. ultimately, the decision rests with him. 
Wait, was the ploy from the ghost, or was it a ploy from the criminal, or was it a ploy from the fact that a raccoon could have run over them all? They could have giggled. It was Pinkie Pie! <laughs> Oh, brother, 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 brother. We've all been down there. We've all been down there. You decide for a year that you're going to react to an entire season of MLP, and that laughs, that laugh wakes you up, too. I've woken up a couple times hearing that laugh, and my eyes darting back and forth as you go criminally insane thinking about how you could mutilate a horse. We've all been there, brother. We've all been there. Holy shit. Oh my god. One out of ten. That's not scary at all. Maybe 1.5. Maybe I'll give him a point five. But uh, that was the funniest thing in the world. Of course it was Pinkie Pie. Oh, wow. Uh, I'm seeing spots I laugh so hard. From a comedy standpoint, this is a five chuckling memesters out of five. Because that's one of the funniest things I've seen in a long time. Also, I pulled my neck. That's how bad I laugh. It hurts all up in here. So, god dang it. The recordings of a woman dating back 11 years, depict some spine-chilling uh -oh. events that took place in her house. She actually launched her channel Better be her basement. scary occurrences that she witnessed, especially in her basement, which she believed was haunted. Um, we figured out that about the start of the new year of this year was when things started to happen. Um, it's mostly in the basement, <laughs> but... I put lipstick on, I did my eyebrows, I wore my top tier dude seducing hat. Not even a peep. He keeps going after my boyfriend. And he keeps leaving messages that says, and I'm not even gay. Oh, you make me so mad! Did you or are you f***ing with me? <laughs> oh my god, she looks like Michelle a bit. Oh, this makes it funnier. Why did you lick your lips? Why do people do that? I never understood. She got, it, maybe she's getting a little, she's getting a little excited. Hold on now. So can you? I'm ready. It's like she had to moisten her lips to make sure that she could thoroughly sass this ghost. Also, I, I don't mean to be a broken record, but there's still a chance that it's so a uh, raccoon. As I'm <laughs> recording to you, part of I've my had leverage, raccoons too. Don't I fuck, like don't fuck with them. They'll beat the shit out of you. I just saw someone standing in the doorway, and so did he. During her oh. scary first recording, where she presents inexplicable situations, eerie phenomena begin to occur. They witness a full-body apparition and hear spine-chilling sounds that were just the beginning of the terrifying experience. Ooh, ooh, we could get some ghosts! Oh, come on! Rock band ghost! Rock band ghost! Rock, I want to do, 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 I have a feel. Oh, he's coming out of the closet. Play the damn freaking drums, brother. Come on. Is it bad that that woman scared me a little more? Her hand was a lot more spooky than that opening. So normally when I come home. From oh, the house, good I'm move. Like, come running to the door to greet me or whatever. And I just came home and she didn't do that. And it ends up she's down here in the basement. Just obsessing over this closet door. I feel like most dog owners will know this feeling. Where the dog decides to do something, you're just like, why are you doing this? My old dog, Hannah, would go to the corner of the room with a table and stare up. She only did it when I was home alone. I think she was fucking with me, be honest with you. I think she was just like, I'm going to get this human real good. When he comes out, I'm just going to do this. He's going to freaking panic. But it's true. Dogs do this. My mom's dog, before I was born, she would say she would, they would stare at the like the bottom of the steps, staring at night and growling at something. Does that make you feel nice and safe? Well, maybe a little bit. You know, if it is a ghost, it ain't going to mess with Mr. Pupper. All right. They cannot thoroughly the head. So they are powerless against the pupper she's waiting for it to open or she thinks there's someone behind it um where it's like she acts like she's acting maybe the ghost just, just wants to play the guitar things. my man um but she hasn't acknowledged me at all since i came home which is very weird she Bella. just looked at you a second ago she's not even answering to her name i'm just gonna open it <laughs> she looked at you twice twice like now words. this dog's gonna go nuts on what's it maybe there's nothing there there's nothing there 
Nothing He's getting down to the bottom of it. Doggo's getting to the bottom of this. Doggo is best answer. The thing is, even if it was an animal in there, that dog would still be smelling because he's smelling up. He's finding all the scents. There's things that we can't see. Nothing, okay? Start sniffing it again. It's been freaking me out. Come on. Well, if it's smelling, then it's stinking. Do ghosts have stank? Spectral toots? standing beside it. However, what she captures towards the That's end lying, bud. is truly spine chilling. Ooh. Yeah. Yes! Hold on. Oh, my body is not ready. Oh, my God. She's actually at the... She's doing the rock band drums. Ooh, come on. Come on, Mr. Ghost. You've got a chance to do some funny old shit. I get so excited in these situations. What's he going to do? Is he going to just bang over? Is the is that drum set going to slide over? Dun, 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 dun. Come on. You got it, please. I beg of thee. You've got it. He's probably going to hit something. Hit the symbol. That's good, pal. I won't break them. <laughs> Michelle's getting, like, really good at the drums. So you might have He's going to close the door. <laughs> we love you. We'll see you soon. While filming a friend in the wardrobe, what? something scary caught our attention. A yeah? mysterious figure <laughs> in a dress. She disappeared without a trace in just. She was time. just spectating the years, drum the solo, man. This chilling footage did not publish any video on YouTube. Could it be that she lived in a haunted house where she managed to record? The I don't know if that's a ghost or if that's just the pixels, the pixels going bananas, buddy. As always, dear audience, you are the judges. I my my spectacles are always on when I'm I'm watching these videos because I'm very cautious about saying that they're real or not. No, I don't know if cautious is the right word. What's going to happen if I get one wrong? Satan comes and he drags me by my sock filled. No, he would he would take off the socks because he's a sicko. Drag me down the stairs. Doom, 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 doom. That would be pretty funny, though. It would hurt. But if you got on camera, we can all high five. <laughs> Ryan fell down the stairs because the devil dragged him because he got a ghost video wrong. Uh, I don't know, man. It's not really that scary. Like, I've seen the doors open trick many times. The The ghost was kind of scary. It was a okay-looking specter. I would say a 2.5 on that one. Features John Plymail, who, along with his oh, friend, no. decided to venture into an abandoned farmhouse in upstate New York. <gasps> the old house, situated in a remote location, was not too far from John's grandma's residence, and yeah? could only be reached through a solitary road. The decrepit state of the building spoke. Oh, the house age. is fucking the worst. As they entered the house, they encountered something that left them both petrified and trembling with fear. Raccoon? I'm gonna get that raccoon sooner or later, right? Bro, Guys, have you ever truly been in a situation where a raccoon looks like he's gonna kick your ass? It's little creatures like raccoons. <laughs> I mean, look at that. If any raccoon's gonna live in this area, come on, baby. Who threw all their trash here? Go to the dump. Who goes to an a abandoned house and goes like, this is the perfect place to put all my trash bags? Look how old those TVs are. Whoa. <laughs> wow, I know. They're like 10 years old. Wowee. I guess that. Oh man, no, I'm just old. With decaying walls, a basement full of debris, and an upstairs that looks like you could just fall. Through. Oh. Nonetheless, I mean, they all do. Is Who? Yeah, like, that's <laughs> Who cut a perfect hole. That's the basement. Yeah, that's disgusting. What it's just piled hell? up trash. The situation becomes scarier and scarier <laughs> when they realize this is a hoarder's house. <laughs> That is pretty scary. For ghosts, this is the worst case scenario. He's like, why do I knock over? There's so many options. You're hearing that, right? Like random footsteps? Oh my god, please fall through the ground like the my, my favorite joke. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Ooh. Good move. Bro. <laughs> 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 
the hell was that? Was that a cat? Pretty sure that was a pissed off cat. Wait, if this was done in a TikTok video, the atmosphere was. How did you cut it off? <laughs> how did you pull that off? Was this originally not a TikTok video, but you didn't think after putting in the text that that would cut it off? <laughs> oh my God, guys. It's G on the stairs. Classic rapper G testing out his rap music career. <laughs> He's just testing out. He needed a good acoustic area. I'll be honest. That scream gave me the chilly willies. I'll give it to him. That one freaked me out. Suddenly, an object was hurled towards them just as they were trying to flee. However... The most spine-chilling moment was when an unknown scream pierced through their ears from out of nowhere, causing them to run faster. The terror didn't end there as even after they made it outside. One of them stated that if someone was still up there, they would fall through the floor. <laughs> to their horror, a glimpse of movement was caught upstairs. Somebody's up there all Oh! It's a bit scary to ponder who or what might be residing above and how it manages to avoid causing any damage to the floor. Honestly, <laughs> Old Lightfoot G. That was pretty spooky. That was pretty spooky. I'll give it to you. That one gave me the chills. That scream, that sound gave me the spooks. That's either a 3.5 or a 4. I don't think that's a 5 out of 5. That's not going to give me... Uh, like nightmares or anything because more than likely my brain goes that's homeless or meth head you know that's I mean which by the way is scarier than uh, a ghost in my opinion because there's legitimate danger uh, that's what I'm guessing I'm guessing it's somebody up there who is a druggie and heard someone moving and freaked out whoa I'm gonna let future Ryan decide 3.5 or 4 it's one of those two that was pretty good I'll give it to him recently ventured into an abandoned morgue that has become a hotspot for ghost hunters owing to the high level of paranormal activity reported there. During their stay, they captured some truly spine-chilling footage that is sure to leave viewers feeling scared and uneasy. Is the fact that it's so dark it looks like his hat is becoming his head? If he moves his head and his hair just as a cone hand... <laughs> What's going on, buddy? You hear something? Maybe like the pitter patter of raccoons? Oh, what the fuck is that? What is that? What is that? Oh! Oh! What is that? What am I looking at? Why is it blinking at me? You better not tell me it's just a normal human being. Oh, like that! What's it sitting on? Does it have legs? Is that tiny legs? I can't tell what I'm looking at. Stop. Oh my God. I hate it. What am I looking at? I can't tell other than it looks like a woman or maybe a man who's got his hands like this on a pocketbook and maybe their legs are like down flat or is that a boot? This is when I find out this is someone who was working with him and the camera made him just look. Cause that thing certainly is blinking. I have to go. It was just a normal woman. Oh no. 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 No. That's what I was afraid of. Her or not moving. She looked like the devil. She looked like the devil. Sorry, lady. My apologies for calling you a monster. But when you stand, maybe you're a woman. You could be a guy. I don't know. I just assuming. I just assuming like I assumed you were a ghost. I mean, I don't even care a ghost threw something. I don't care. Wow, that's great. Wow, that sure is scary. It's moving the... It, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> I would not be happy if the casket starts wiggle-waggling, you know? Because, one, that ghost got to be jacked. Or he's inside of it. Watch that thing. Bat. Come on, bust open. Hit him with your pocketbook, lady. Wow. 
Why were you just sitting there? As by they the way? explored the building, they split up and went their separate ways. Anastasia <laughs> found herself in a room all alone and was soon overcome by a sense of terror as she witnessed some truly hair raising occurrences. One particularly frightening moment came when the coffin situated right behind her began to move significantly, causing Anastasia to jump out of her skin. Fearing for her safety, she quickly left the room, which had been caught on camera capturing this spine-chilling incident. She left the camera? That's very expensive. What if the ghosts hit the camera? I'd be pissed, dude. Knowing how expensive these cameras are, if if a ghost knocked it over and destroyed my camera. I'm I'm inventing Luigi's mansion in real life. There's gonna be some sucking. Hobo Ryan's gonna suck them all. Can we at least can you at least tell me who the humans are and which one's the ghost this time? I would like to not insult a poor lady by saying she was the scariest thing I've ever seen in a horror movie. I wonder if the guy who made the video added the music or if it was in the original. Either way, I gotta say, i just not not a fan of adding horror music and tension music. So much scarier when it's real life and it's silent. Also, yes, my neck still really hurts. I really yanked it, apparently. Oh my god, dude, are you gonna kiss me? Don't, don't kiss me. No, okay, all right, we're over, okay, it's over. That was very scary. That was very scary. I didn't know that was coming. Is the casket going to blow up? Come on, casket. Do a flip. Do a flip. Do a somersault. Oh. It's a dark figure. Where are you going? I'm going upstairs. I'm a ghost. So I don't have to abide by the laws of gravity. Or I was just gas. Okay, goodbye. As the camera was left in the eerie room with the coffin, it captured something absolutely spine chilling. Out of nowhere, a strange and petrifying dark figure materialized before us. It hovered in the air for a few moments before gradually ascending upward and dissolving into thin air. Now, it's up to you to decide if what we caught on camera is indeed a true ghostly apparition or just an expertly concocted scare tactic. That's a valid question. That's a valid point. I mean, I always assume that everything that's ever been done on the internet is phony baloney for views. But also, I kind of like to turn that off in my brain because sometimes these videos aren't necessarily to make me believe if ghosts are real or not. I see them the same as a horror movie, right? If you can trick me into thinking it's real, cool. I'll admit, moving the casket's pretty scary. Maybe there was a man inside there. They got us. They got us good. They, you know, they could easily just cut to when she leaves and then gets out of the casket. No clue. But uh, if it's not, that one was, that one was pretty good. That was pretty good. I really liked the gremlin they got at the beginning. That was really scary. <laughs> I don't know what to rate this because like she really freaked me out sitting there. She looks like a demon. She looks like a scary ghost demon. She was like the ghost from the closet in 4K, and I didn't like it. She was a five. <laughs> Everything else? Uh, boy, I don't know. That was, a, the, like, usually the movement scares. There's something about the, the movement, the sounds, the movement of the casket. I'll give it, uh, it's either a 3 or a 3.5 there. They gave me the chills, but it didn't give me the same chills as the scream. The scream, like them being in there, I feel like that one was higher. So maybe this is a 3. I'm going to be honest, guys. The biggest thing that made me skeptical is having flying squirrels in your in your roof and in your walls. Because you know what flying squirrels do? <laughs> they scratch because they've got long nails so they can climb, they, you know, flying things. So you hear scratching. as Just like these horror, they're like... Like, it sounds like scratching skin, but it's literally just like a chipmunk upstairs going, that's it. That's all they're doing. And they're eating nuts. <laughs> when you see the flying squirrel eating nuts and seeing that sound, like ghosts all over the world just got ruined. B -b 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 Bonus round. So I figured seeing we did the rating videos throughout this whole thing and I was going to cut it in half. 
I figure why not have a little bonus content where I do the old content I used to do. So we're going to look through a couple of photos to add to this uh, experience. And let's see if any of these photos can match the intensity of those videos. Probably. <laughs> okay, going on Google Images was a bad idea. Or maybe a great idea. I'm not really sure. Why would I say that? Water Malone. I've got to give him credit. This is impressive. This is actually one of the most cursed evil things I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I've got to say, it's mostly the dark demon eyes that makes this entire combination. Like, if there was no giant demon black eyes, I would say it would be just a fun little art experiment. And now, it's Satan's watermelon. You know what also it is? It's the little dents in her left cheek. This is weirdly, surprisingly, one of the best scary images I've seen in a long time. And whoever put this son of a gun together did a great job. I kind of hesitate to call it a 5 out of 5. It's either 4.5 or 5 out of 5. Those eyes, legitimately, and those dents, and the fact that it looks very realistic makes not only this look like an Alice in Wonderland character, it also looks like an Alice in Wonderland character that murders you in your sleep. Holy smokes, look at that shadow demon. You know, guys, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it. Maybe this is the most sexist thing I've ever said. Shadow women, better than shadow dudes. Shadow men have never scared me ever in my entire life. They all look the same. There's something, there's something about their ratty ass hair that makes it so much worse. I do not like this. But I also like the genuine joy in that little girl's face. <laughs> Don't worry. She may look like the embodiment of everyone's nightmares, but she helps me in co-op in Halo. But then there's the boy who somehow has hair more cursed than she does, which is, that is impressive. How can you pull off hair worse than the shadowiest demon in the entire universe? That's a five out of five, by the way. Easy. That that uh, whoever made that shadow creature is uh, top tier. Top tier shadow creature. I don't think you can get scarier than that. Like I've said, there's something about the eyes that makes this uh, as good as it is. And ratty hair. Ratty hair on shadow creatures are just the worst. I don't know what it is, but it really does add to the freaking me out. the image curse stalker i'm like i don't get it what is it and i scrolled down <laughs> no i don't know if that's curse stalker guys i think that's a pretty obvious stalker it's you know what if you're taking a picture like that and this guy's head sticking out you know what you're doing all right look at that fucking thing and we wonder how animatronics fucking came to be the horror icons that they are because back then like our makeshift trying to put shit together made demons. Uh, no, made things demons would be scared of. If a demon saw that, be like, whoa, buddy, I'm going back in the fiery pits of hell. That warms my heart. That does warm my heart right there. That's a fat murder bear. Now, you see, folks, uh, I've got to be fully honest with you. <laughs> I might not have showed you the full image. <laughs> what? What is it, Ryan? Is it the chunky little girl pal with him? No. Is it the powder cake they gave him? No. Is it the guy with the pinkish white suit in the background that just just screams of the time period? No. Hey, guys, it's Dick's birthday. You know how I know? Because it says Dick the birthday boy. <laughs> <laughs> that is simply amazing that is a double whammy that is it's a cursed scary image but also somebody put that kid in a shirt that says dick the birthday boy nobody this is why people need dirty minds this is why because if you, if I saw it, I go, no, he can't wear that because obviously it has a double entendre and it's just fucking really horrible. If you're wholesome, you're not going to see that. You just be like, that's Dick. It's his birthday. <laughs> I don't know what to rate this. This is the first oddity. It is no rating. 
because it's simultaneously a five and simultaneously a one. Because this image makes me laugh so fucking hard because of the stupidity. And then on the other hand, this thing is one of the scariest things. So this is the first ever boop, bing. It's a question mark. It's not, it's nothing. But I must go back to my dimension. Uh, there will be a second half of this because the video was long and uh, I'll see you then. Bye.